Turn the page, they always say. It's a new beginning. Forget the past and look towards the future. But is that what it's really about? Does returning repentance mean forgetting our past? But Rabbi, how do I want to look at my past? All the things I feel so bad about, it pulls me down. It makes me feel so not good. Hey, my dear friends, I'm here to share with you something actually a little bit different. You see, something a little bit different. You see, if you think about all the things that you regret in the past, you would also realize as soon as you did those things that you regret, you actually made a major change in your life as soon as you regretted it. Everything that we regret about, we pivot it to something greater. Because it's in those things that we regret that made us what we embrace. So it's not about avoiding what we feel bad about, avoiding the things we wish we would have not done, avoiding the thought of how we did it. It's to recognize each one of those things that we did, actually what made me change to what I am today. I don't want to repeat it, but I don't want to deflect it. Because I would have not been the person who I am. And it's something important to think about as we come to Yom Kippur. It's not about turning the page and forgetting our past. It's about looking back on each one of our struggles of the past and realizing how it made us who we are. And spend more of the time embracing who we have become. When Yom Kippur comes around, we are dressed in white to reflect this idea that I'm taking all my struggles. As it says in Hebrew, Zedonos, Nasios, Kazachios. Even intentional sins could become like merits. How could potential sins become comic merits? Because it's each one of those sins that a person may have done that made them who they are when they regretted it. It made them realize, oh, wow, this, this is so not me. So embrace you who you are. Turn your vices into virtues. Turn your weaknesses into strengths. Don't run away from the things that you feel pull you down. Take that same energy and turn it towards something positive. As you come to Yom Kippur, I wish you a Gemar Chatim may be written and inscribed for good. We have a few days until Yom Kippur, a beautiful Shabbat, a Shabbat of Shuva, a Shabbat of return, a Shabbat of reflection. So when we come on Sunday to Yom Kippur, Sunday evening till Monday night, we will come embracing our personality, embracing our life, and using it for goodness, for health, and for happiness. Shana Tovah.